Happy January 19th, everyone. I'm Liam. We are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, we managed to scare some giant insects away from a merchant uh, that they were antagonizing, but it's left us nearly dead. We're down to four health from 11. In addition, we're flat broke, zero amber, and we have to our name just one sorry meal ration. So let's see what adventure awaits us in the aftermath of this perilous battle. <clears throat> okay. All right. We can uh, we can pickpocket the merchant. I think we're. I just can't bring myself to pickpocket anybody. Not yet. Not with the characters we've been playing. Maybe maybe we'll roll a mischievous character when we continue on later. We'll see. Um, so I'm gonna there is an icon on this page. If you're still inclined, you can pickpocket the merchant who we just rescued. Um, uh, I don't think Quill's gonna do that. Let's see. You approach the grateful merchant who is relieved to have been saved. Oh thank you, kind stranger. I don't know what would have happened if you weren't here. Oh, Decay and Frey, look what they've done. Can you spare any more help? Choose A or B. We can, ste we can steal the merchant's remaining supplies. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, they're giving us a lot of uh, opportunities here to just be a terrible person. Um, or B, we can help repair the cart and then give the merchant some of your supplies, optional, and then escort the merchant to Crown Spire. We've been playing Quill as a good person, so let's do, let's do uh, Series B here. Uh, let's see, help repair the cart. Roll D20 plus intellect. Our intellect is plus two, so D20 plus two, four. Uh, I told myself I was going to get a new 20-sided die today, and I didn't. Uh, so, it's my fault. The cart is damaged beyond your repair capabilities. Excellent. Okay, two. Give the merchant some of your supplies optional. The merchant is now low on food supplies for the journey. If you have a meal ration, which we do, that you'd like to offer her, she kindly trades you one health potion for it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> interesting. This is this is a tough choice. This is maybe a this is maybe a great opportunity to illustrate different ways to play this type of game. There are a lot of folks in the community. <clears throat> Discord is what I'm thinking primarily. There's a Discord uh, server for this game. Um, and there's a lot of folks there for whom this is a first experience that's anything like a tabletop role-playing game. Games like Dungeons and Dragons or Four Against Darkness that I'm playing in the other series on my channel right now. Is this a, is this a role-playing game? That's the first question. You can play it like one, um, but you don't have to. Does it even, does it even call itself a role-playing game? Um... In Friars of Renwood, Adventure a Day Desktop Calendar, Quest Calendars. I don't see the word role playing anywhere on here. <clears throat> so, uh, so yeah, it doesn't self-identify as a role playing game, but it sure scratches that itch, and it can feel like one. The interesting thing, I guess, is that even games that call themselves role-playing games only become role-playing games if you as a player actually role-play them. What the heck am I talking about? I might cut this <laughs> I might cut this from the video, but I'm in it now. So let's keep going. Um, so example, let's do an example. We'll roll example of role-playing this page versus not role-playing it. This choice of uh, trading meal ration for the potion so the natural way for me as a player to think right now is like this I suspect what's going to happen next in the game 
is that we'll get to Crown Spire City tomorrow and then switch to our fourth introductory character and then after that I believe <clears throat> we'll be choosing one of the introductory characters or making one I think if we want and then continuing throughout the year and I suspect the calendar is going to let us rest up before we move on from this introductory content and resting will restore our health fully if all that's true I as a player would just keep my meal ration because in a few days or a week or so I'll be full health before I play Quill again I'll be full health and I'll have a meal ration <clears throat> Or maybe I'd take the health potion, because maybe the health potion is more valuable than the meal ration, and just keep it, don't drink it, because then a week or two from now, I'll have full health and a health potion. So, that kind of thinking is what role players would call uh, metagaming. I'm using my knowledge of the game and the world as a player to make the optimal choices for the character. If I were to roleplay this instead, which is, excuse me, <clears throat> generally more immersive and, in my opinion, fun. Quill, Quill is really hurting. She's more than half dead. Um, she's hungry too, but <clears throat> in this game, eating doesn't restore health. You lose health if you don't eat, but you don't gain health if you do. She's gone a day without food, but she's more, like I said, she's more than half dead from yesterday's fight with the insects and from tripping the thorn trap in the forest previously. So role-playing this instead of metagaming it, I think I think Quill would eagerly trade this meal ration for the health potion and then chug it down immediately because uh, she's so she's so damaged. Could we come up with a role-playing reason for Quill to take the potion and not drink it? That optimal path? You know, yeah, sure, probably, maybe. But I think if you find yourself working too hard to make the character make the optimal decision in the game's terms, you're, you're probably still metagaming. The reason I think this is important enough, I guess, to talk about here is that most people are intimidated by the sheer amount of rules and procedures involved with tabletop role-playing games you know Dungeons and Dragons the player's handbook and the dungeon masters go well, I guess you just need the player's handbook but it's a it's a few hundred pages a couple hundred at least so it's a lot <clears throat> because so um, because the natural way to play games in general is to metagame right you're the player you're trying to make you want to know the rules well enough to make the optimal choices to win the game but tabletop role-playing games aren't about winning, at least by design. They're, <clears throat> they're intended to be role-played. It's more important and more fun, in my opinion, and easier to play if you role-play stuff rather than metagame it. So rather than trying to keep all the rules in your head and constantly try to figure out what the best choice is for any given decision, um... If you do that, if you let yourself just roleplay stuff, those complicated games become a lot more accessible to learners and beginners and stuff. Oh boy, I hope that wasn't pedantic or, or inflammatory. <laughs> Maybe I'm really overthinking this. Thank you for indulging my impromptu essay. <clears throat> you know, I guess let me know in the comments if that was interesting or not, or if it made any sense at all, if I don't cut this section. <laughs> Anyway, with all that said, um, uh, let's, uh, let's happily make the trade. We're going to give our meal ration to the merchant. We're going to take the health potion, and we're going to gratefully uh, chug it down, which means we roll a d4 and add that to our health. So, <laughs> after all that, we get one health. Okay, that's the way it goes. <clears throat> so, excellent. Um, we gain a health five. It's a really weak health potion. And we lose our meal ration. Um, that's okay. Again, we're not... <laughs> we're role-playing this. We're not worried about the optimal uh, path. But it is funny. <clears throat> okay, what else, what else do we have here? We've got one more thing we can do. 
<clears throat> Escort the merchant to crown spiral. D20 plus wisdom. <laughs> Five. Oh my goodness. Plus two is seven. Um, add plus two. That deals with magic. We get to... Yeah, here we go. Once per page, re-roll any D20 plus wisdom roll. And take the new result. All right, die. You've been miserable to us. We need a good number here. D20. Okay. All right. It just needed a little pep talk. 16 plus 2. Wisdom is 18. If the result is 11 or more, you accompany the merchant to Crown Spire. She is still upset about the attack. Who wouldn't be? We are too. But you do your best to cheer her up and make it a smooth journey. She thanks you for your assistance. Gain one virtue. Excellent. All right. So these are super tiny little circles, but we are now at two. And what else? She gives you a tip of D4 plus, uh, plus one amber. And you as well, four-sided die. Uh, we'd like to see. See a little more help out of you. Four. All right. They just want they just want some attention. So we got five amber. Excellent. Okay, that that all worked out in the end, I suppose. Five amber, five health. We're still we're still more than half dead. But uh, hopefully, next page is Crown Spire City, and then <laughs> this weekend we'll see who our our new friend is gonna be. But I think that's enough for today. We'll just, we'll say goodbye for now and visit oh, visit Quill again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us and don't unsubscribe. Thanks for watching.